What's up guys, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for another talk on some aluminum. So, before we jump in, you guys could do me a favor that would help the channel out. Click that little subscribe button right there, just boop. If not, how about dropping one of these down below, a little like. Appreciate it. Help the channel out. So let's jump in. Today, we're talking about the heat-treatable aluminum alloys in the 2000 series. Alloys where the primary alloying element is copper and typically age-hardened, either at room temperature, the naturally aged tempers, or by heating, the artificially aged tempers. Products are normally heat-treated by the producing mill. For a review of the heat-treated temper designations, or if you did not see the previous video, put up here. Go ahead. Check it out. The Aluminum Association, the American industry organization that has established standards, also uses a comparative rating system for various properties of aluminum alloys. An A rating is the most favorable and E is the least. Again, these are comparisons within aluminum alloys. An alloy and temper rated A is superior to one rated B, and so on. In general, the 2000 series machines well, but is not highly rated for general stress corrosion applications when compared to other alloys. Most popular wrought alloys in this series are 2011, 2014, 2017, and 2024. Aluminum chemistry requirements contain a restriction of 0.05% max each for any unspecified elements and a total of 0.15% max, which applies to all these alloys. First on the docket, 2011, the UNS code A92011, an alloy of 5.0 to 6.0% copper, 0 0.40 max silicon, 0.7 max iron, 0 0.2 to 0.6% each of lead and bismuth are added for machinability. With lead restricted for many applications, low lead versions are used for compliance where feasible. Used for screw machine products where the A machinability is much more important than the D rating for general corrosion performance. Tempers T3, T4, and T8 are the most common, and the T8 temper has better stress corrosion rating. Next is 2014 with a UNS code of A92014. Copper content is 3.9 to 5.0% with 0.5 to 1.2% silicon, 0.7% max iron, 0.4 to 1.2% manganese, 0.4 to 0.8% magnesium, 0.10 max chromium, with 0.25 max zinc and 0.15% max titanium. Common tempers are T4 and T6, plus their variations. And this is used in truck frames and aircraft structures. Rated D mm, for general corrosion and B mm, for machinability. Next, 2017, UNSA 92017, an alloy of 3.5 to 4.5% copper with 0.2 to 0.8% silicon, 0.7 max iron, 0.4 to 1% manganese, 0 0.4 to 0.8% magnesium, 0.10% max chromium, 0.25% max zinc, and 0.15% max titanium. Common tempers are T4 and T451, rated B for machining applications, and a D rating for general corrosion resistance used in fittings. Lastly is 2024 with a UNS of A92024, an alloy of 3.8 to 4.9% copper with 0.5% max each of silicon and iron, 0.3 to 0.9% manganese, 1.2 to 1.8% magnesium, 
0.10 max chromium, 0.25 max zinc, 0.15% max titanium. Common tempers are T3, T4, and T6, and their variants. General corrosion rating is D, and machining, a B. Applications include aircraft structures, truck components, and fittings. Commercial applications generally specify ASTM standards, which we know. And aerospace applications utilize AMS standards or government defense and federal standards. As always, there are detailed requirements within the full temper designation and any specifications that can require specific products and processing. So, we caution you to carefully, carefully, check the specs. And so this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far and haven't yet subscribed, please consider click here. If you've missed any of the previous videos and want to catch up, whoop, there they are. Click it. Thanks for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday. Appreciate it.